he's just good all all around, man. He's just a phenomenal competitor and athlete. Um, yeah, him and Lucas Leishi back in the day, one two of my main training partners. Uh, it'll be interesting matchup. I can see Lapella pulling guard on this one though. After one minute. After the one minute After mark. After one minute, because he's smart enough to wait. <laughs> Competitors just studying each other, taking their time. That's what also I like about this one minute mark, because they have more time. Don't need to rush in things. Nothing on the rush works well. It sometimes can be a little yeah, lucky. Yeah, you just got to be patient. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's kind of a warm-up to the first match. You got to remember, like, it's hard to warm up if you're not in the match. I, a lot of times, it's on my first match. The first few minutes of that first match, at least as a warm-up, kind of when your body, because the lights are on, it's a lot hotter on stage than it is out here. And, um, you know, your body just needs to kind of get into the, the, the competition mode. Sometimes it's, it's half asleep when you step in there. So a lot of people like to take that time with the first couple of minutes just to kind of ease into it. Yeah, I like that. I usually I mean, do it's, that. It's a risky track because you never know how your opponent's going to come out the gate. You know, he could be, you know, coming out swinging at you with everything he's got. So you know, it, could, it could backfire as well. But most competitors take it easy the first couple of minutes. You don't want to make the opportunity for mistakes, right? And when you're rushing things... Capoeira he's open up this. Obviously, he's complaining about Capoeira grabbing his fingers there. As long as he's not yeah, it, only look, once yeah, about. You, yeah, you can you can hold fingers, but you can't do is twist them. There's a difference. Exactly. Right. So if you end up grabbing him, that's going to be fine. But if you try to like finger lock him, that that's that would be the no-no. The one minute mark is gone. Now, let's see if anybody's going to pull guard. Do you think Marcel is going to pull guard? I really would have thought he would have, but. I'm feeling a little bit. He's feeling solid on the. On the stand of both of them. I shot the back up. We're a little too far, too, uh, too, too close to the end of the mats. One I mean, thing that I find so interesting, Robert, is because the mats cannot get bigger than that. Why they always yeah. shot when they get by the edge? I just, it, 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 <laughs> it's, a, it's a good question. If anything, you should probably walk backwards. Right? Exactly. Let your, your opponent walk in. You not only for momentum purposes, but you have you know you can run across the, the whole mats if you have to. Mafra walking backwards a lot. Couple all really pressing forward. Mafra is definitely a, a guard player, right? I would say he's better on bottom than he is on top in general. But he's just well rounded. He's got good judo. Too. Have you ever been thrown in a uh, nogi i ponsionagi? No. I have. By that guy over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. He can't get over it, man. It was like nine years ago. We, we, usually I jump on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't stay that long. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so. The nogi i ponsionagi, that's interesting. Huh? Whoa, that's a very good uh, answer by Marcelo. Wow, that's. Oh, oh they went out for the ground. Wow. Very good defense. You okay? I like how there's an angle there towards the edge of the mat, so that the competitors go out of bounds. They With slide, slide down. Off stage versus that's that's off stage. better. But really still feeling his his leg over there. Maybe yeah, he hit he the camera blood. support. We have a big circle with the Burkitt and ACB brand from the middle of the mat. That could be a very good reference. Yeah, I think it's something, you know, it's easy to forget about those references when you're in there in the moment, but you're right, that would be a great reference. Whoa, again, again and again. Maybe it's because you push them down to the edge and they don't have nowhere else to go, that's when they shoot. Well, you know, if you're going to shoot the edge of the match, you got to make sure you cut that at least a 90 degree angle and try to finish, you know. Inside. On the, yeah, on the white. Um, otherwise, the reference is simply not going to score points. As you said, you know, I'm very impressed with Marcelo Mafra's takedowns uh, attempts. Yeah, no, he's, he's a good wrestler. He's got a really good judo too. Caporal has a lot of MMA experience as well. So you know he's worked on his wrestling extensively. But, um, yeah, I was really expecting Moffat to pull guard, but he's comfortable on his feet. Got a minute 20 left. Score is even. So we could see like on the, uh, all the other fighters that are going to be on the 70, under 85 watching the match, you know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thiago Sa was on camera. Very looking, very looking yeah, very concentrated. I, I I'd rather be the last guy going because I like watching matches before I go. Kind but of you get in the vibe, right? Exactly, yeah. mentally. I do. Get into the, into and the then do you notice? Do you notice that everywhere that you 
go that if I, the vibe is kind of a little bit different yes. and I like to tune in yes you know yes, you're right. I like to see that plus the rules are different too so it's a certain pace you know you have to make sure you adapt so you pace. can also see what mistakes people are doing what the mindset that people have when they step in the match correct and this makes a lot of difference on the strategy for the fight I just him off for pulling guard with 30 seconds left Let's see if you can do something is a draw so far don't forget guys that all the uh, penalties are accumulated through the, the, the rounds. The all three right? rounds. You can only rounds. have five. Uh, no, the fifth you already disqualified. If you're disqualified. And then if you have two matches, uh, two penalties, okay, the third is minus one of the round points. And everyone on top of that will be nice minus one. Wow. Beautiful. On the, on the oh, time. So you know what? I always say the last 20 seconds are the most dangerous. Mm -hmm. You cannot break your eyes. Yes, because it's a tough fight right there. Anyone? So it's a draw. First round. And um, Marcelo Marfa seemed much more effective and dangerous on the ground. On yes, the, on the, and he's I, already I, I was thinking. just going to ask you what you think he's going to do. I think I can see him changing strategies after that first minute mark and then accepting bottom. Me too. Um, that's what I think he should do anyway, because uh, that's why he looked that he was more dangerous. Not before the minute mark. I wouldn't, I wouldn't risk on that. Thirty seconds into the second round, Rodrigo Caporal and Marcelo Mafra. They're both well-rounded. Like these guys could fight, you know, could fight anyone anywhere. It's just one of those things is that you have to find your comfort zone. Like where is it you feel your game will best match your opponent's game, right? Once again, Whoa, out of bounds. Again. I really like those lighting edges. Oh yeah, bet they, they're thankful for it. And even though you're right, but the mats are, this is probably the biggest mat I've ever seen, but it still happens. You know, especially if you're gonna be standing up, it's just gonna happen, there's no way out of it. Like Marcelo complaining a lot about the uh, uh, about the fingers. I believe Caporal just got penalized there for finger grabbing. See Marcelo complaining. One verbal. Yes, but that is nothing. That that's just nothing happens. So it's not a criteria in case it's, it yeah. is a draw. Uh, the, the penalties works like that. After the third, from the third, you're gonna get one point taken out of the but round. Isn't it a, a, a tiebreaker criteria in case the match ends? It could be, could be, but that's not the last round because the criteria will only the work in the last round. The criteria for the last round is submission attempts. Yeah. Three minutes left. Caporal well, complained about Marcelo grabbing his fingers. He wants to get that adventure back. We're all pressing forward. You can see Marcelo trying to circle out away from that corner. It's just Caporal's doing a really good job, you know, cornering him and just chasing him around. Back to the center. Yeah, I, really, I agree with you, bro. I think Marcelo was doing better when he was pulling guard. Yeah, he still insists on the, in the, in the same strategy of the first round. And the, here we go. He, now he's on the ground. He did. He did pull guard on on, on, on time. Was, that was like a legal because you gotta have contact on, yeah, yeah, on the grid. Yeah. Caporal's kind of keeping his distance too. I don't know if you know it. He's kind of like a safe distance from Marcelo. He's not really stepping in. Normally, you see the guy trying to step in between his opponent's legs to go for that knee slice and fight for that underhook. Now you see him moving in. Yeah, he's he's like not letting 
Caporal just himself at all. Caporal is grabbing the bottom leg, cupping with his left hand. He's like trying to pin his knees together because if this will stop the mobility of the, the, the bottom player, right? Uh, but um, in the other hand, if you see right hand of, of Marcelo Mafra, is always underneath of the guy's chin. So which stop the, the clamping and the control of the hips. That's, that means Marcelo can always move his hips out and be able to scoop him away from the pass. Exactly. Because the problem here is that knee. His right knee cannot be clamped to the other oh, knee. You know what? I, I'm, I hate me my knee trap there. Some people very get very comfortable there. I like, hate it. I, I, I feel like my and if I want the top, limited. I love it. So I mean, exactly. Um, yeah, but generally speaking, I, I like my, my hips to be free. Is that a guillotine attempt over there? He's going to try to... I've trained with Marcelo extensively. He's very comfortable. And he's, he's got... He's actually stronger than he looks there, but when you try to jam his knees together and go for that dope now, he does a really good job at pulling that knee out right at the, 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 the right moment. That is 45 seconds to go, and... Um, nothing happens, really. Who do, who do you think would be winning up now? I think it's, it's very easy. Oh, there was that penalty that the ref gave Caporal, yeah. so I think yeah. that's the only thing that can so work out against. So happen. Everything was out of bounds. There was that attempt of Marcelo going to Caporal's back, but... A lot of finger grabbing. Not a lot happening. Everyone respects the decent guy all the time. And Caporal is keeping the same. The same pass. We know you see he pulls back. He's worried about that guillotine. Exactly, right? Because if you keep the right pressure down, that's going to be exposing. The right, the last, maybe that's why Moffat's giving him the knee. Correct. To get Caporal to come in, the in angles. right? Come into a circle and then he can wrap that neck. Hello! End of second round. Um, two, both, both competitors are playing very safe. Everyone very quiet and listening. It's, it's very tactical fight as well. Nothing happened really, but there is a lot of canceling from both fighters. You see, like um, Capro is really cornering Marcel. It's almost like he wants to go for that takedown attempt at the edge of the mat. I probably want to do the opposite. I don't know if, like want to walk backwards, so I gain some, some some territory before I go for my takedown. Because if you shoot there, you're always going to go out of bounds. There's no way you're going to get points. Marcel is really complaining about those fingers grabbing. I think he might get hurt. Yeah, he might be injured too. That's one of those things. And and Caporal does he does like say they, they like he's he, they actually yeah, Marcel hide in his hands and you can see it. That's gotta be annoying. Nine seconds with the official guard pool. Mafra is already pre uh, preparing himself. Three, yeah, two, one. one. Now it's over the minute mark. This is the second match of the 75 kilo division. Yes, uh, a lot of fights to come. In next fight, Davi Ramos and Luan Carvalho. Davi, an amazing fighter. The ADCC world champion under 88 kilograms with the fastest submissions and most exciting submissions of the finals of the ADCC last year. Leopard came from an amazing campaign, right? They so well that ADCC. And I, I had him as my favorite, and he just killed him. Me too. Like, for example, uh, Lepri, he's uh, one of the, uh, the fighters out there that make the less mistakes uh, in, in competition. He's so and tight. We, and we have him against Luan Carvalho, who is fairly unknown. He's from Macaé, Novo Union School. And... Um, yeah, he's not like he's he's he's, he's a, not a competitor that you, you hear about a lot in, in the U.S. But he's very durable, man. He's got an amazing uh, uh, got a, a long track record of competition. He has a very result. good round game. Yeah, you know, he's gonna be facing Davi Ramos. You know, one of the favorite of the of, of, of the week. Very explosive, very dangerous, well rounded. Oh, that's that's very like good. That's probably one of Marcel's strongest positions. There. One leg ex ex guard yes. towards the heel hook and stuff. I love this position so much. It's one of my favorites as well. He's trying to go for maybe fifth sweep, fifty to take them back. That's a very good defense there from Caporal. There was no submission. Whoa! Once again, out of bounds. That was you can even hear the crowd saying like, that was crazy. all the time. Going, going out of bounds all the time. 
I don't know if this is part of the tactics of Rodrigo, but they seem to always take him down only by the edge. Maybe try to make him fear the edge to be able to get the takedown. Just, whoa, was that a takedown? Yeah, like leg drag, leg drag by Ma oh, Caporal. Nice. Is he going to take the back? Nice. Very good. Drag. Well, well, doing a great job free well recovered by Ma Mafra. That was a good leg drag, wasn't it? And then when he did it, he blocked the hip to the way that he couldn't recover the guy so easy. This is what I'm saying. Like a lot of times, like the, the, the shorter guys are going to free their hips so much easier because their legs are shorter, right? And you get someone taller, you get that leg drag. There's no recovery, man. Can you see Caporal is copying uh, with his left hand his hips on the bottom so he can have a better traction of yeah. the hip control? Yeah, very good detail. Uh, Marshall. Mas already, uh, sorry, uh, Mafra already regained the knee. You can see his right knee is already above to the other side of the of the head and protect himself from the possible pass of clamping the knee. No submissions attempt so far. Um, that would be a tough one for the judge. Yeah, you know what? I, just because of that penalty, I think the match might lean towards Marcelo, Mafra. and Marcelo, I think, got a little bit closer to scoring points than how Caporal did. I mean, if, if you discount the, you know, Caporal's out-of-bounds uh, takedown attempts, but I don't think they're going to count those. But um, the other thing as well, through the whole fight, all the rounds, I see a lot of the times Mafra's been pushed out of the, the, the boundaries. So yes, it's will that count on the so. judge's eyes? Because in IBJJF, the way they look at it is whoever's trying to take the fight out of the game. So it doesn't matter if you're the one backing out, if you're the one pushing. If you're trying to take, if you're not trying to keep the, keep the fight in the center, you're going to be penalized. I can see them apply the same criteria here. A minute 20 left. Marcelo Mafra in guard. The white rash guard. Caporal, you can see him becoming a little more aggressive now. I know he, I think he understands that if he doesn't do something, this fight might go, the judges might go against him. Once again with that leg drag. Fifty seconds left. Caporal top game fighting for that leg drag the whole time. Marcelo gets very comfortable there. Frees that leg at will. I wonder if anybody gonna try to do any submission attempts to get the lead. Because that penalty, if there is a submission attempt that goes out of the window, yeah. we still have 30 seconds. Uh, if I were Kapoor, I'd be really I would you know, jump, pressing that. Steel hooks and everything else. Speaking of jumping, I saw you do a jumping inverted triangle the other day on your Instagram. That was pretty slick. Kapoor pressing forward there, 15 seconds left. Looks like it's going to go to decision. And nothing there. Decision it is. This time, it's a split decision. You're